Hello guys, uh, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can remove the .html or .php extension from your uh, website URL. So let's say for instance, I'm on uh, my website here, which is um, a vacancy website where I post uh, latest uh, local vacancies. So I'm on here, so now if I was to click, let's say on this latest vacancy right here. So now, once I click on here, you will see on my UR, in my URL, you got this .html extension right here. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can remove this .html extension from your URL and just re remain with your URL name. So, it, I'm going to show you how you can do that to your HTML website or your PHP file. So, I'm going to show you on both. But uh, before we get started, I just want to ask you like if this is your first time, then please consider subscribing and uh, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a new tutorial. And uh, please make sure you check out our channel if you want to learn more into uh, web development. We have almost a hundred videos for you to choose from, so make sure you check us, uh, you check our channel out. But uh, other than that, let's get into this video. So to get started, I just want us to open our text editor. Make sure you open your text editor right there, All right? So the first thing that I want you to do is create a file and give it a name a dot ht access. Create a new file and then give it a name as a dot ht access. Right? And then in this dot ht access, I want you to write this line of code right here. This line of code I also put it in the description of this video. So just go to the description and copy and paste it in your dot ht access file. This line of code. So if you are running an HTML file, make sure you replace this with your HTML.html and then this with your .html. But if you are running a PHP file or you are creating a PHP website, make sure you replace .html with .php. Those are on the only changes you need to make. But if you are running an HTML file, just copy it like as it is. I'll also drop all this line of code in my description for PHP and for HTML. So just go to my description and copy whatever has, um, whatever codes works for you. So yeah, now once you're done creating this and pasting this code in your HD, make sure you save. Now go to your HTML file. So in your HTML, I want you to go to every ring that you have in your uh, page. So let's say I have this latest vacancy at the ring there. So remove the dot HTML and just remain with the latest job page, which is the name of your file. So make sure you save, go through your whole page and find every ring. So now I want to come down, come down to come down to my footer. I have a lot of link in my footer just to show you. So if you look into my ring here, all know my rings remove the dot html and just remain with your ring name remove the dot and then again if it's a php file remove that dot php extension and just remain with your file name so as you can see on all my links here i remove the dot html file right remove that and then once you're done just save so now you have to upload your file online so I want you to open, I'm just going to be opening my file Zira. So open whatever software you use to upload your website online. I'm using file Zira. So I'm going to open my file Zira right here. Again, if you want to learn more on file Zira or you don't know anything about file Zira, I did a tutorial like an introduction to file Zira. So I'll read the link in the description and now you can check it out if you want to learn more on file Zira. But other than that, let's just upload this file online, right? So just go to find my file in my website and then this is my server site I already access my server again this is my uh, web my computer site so again i explain all this in my introduction to file zero tutorial so if you don't know anything or you are lost just check out the link will be in the description so i just want to come back here and then paste copy your htc access and then your index file where all your file so with mine i'm just going to copy my index and then my access right so these are all these are the pages that i made changes to but make sure you upload your dot hd access and then all your website file make sure you upload them online so now i'm just going to upload this 
paste it in my root folder right there on my server again if you are lost i explain all this so i'm just going to replace since i already had that file right so now it's done a prodi right perfect now let's go back to our website so if i was to click on here just go back all right click on back right now you see you have that right so now if i was to click on latest vacancy you will see your dot html is already removed it's not there anymore right so if i was to scroll down again let's say scroll down and then just click on whatever link okay just click on that ring and then you will see it doesn't have a dot html extension anymore right you will remove that right perfect so all you have to know is the first thing create your dot ht access file paste this the line of code will be in my description whether you are working on html or php i will paste all i will paste all the codes in my description just copy that and then paste it in your dot ht access and then come back to your html file or your php file on all your link make sure you will remove the dot html or dot php extension and then upload all your file online that's all you need to do now uh, everything should be working just fine so yeah i hope this video was helpful and uh, if you find it helpful then make sure you give it a thumbs up leave us a comment down below and uh, if this was your first time then please consider subscribing and uh smash, smash that notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a new tutorial and uh, please don't forget to check out our channel if you want to learn more on this but uh, other than that i'll see you guys in the next video i'm out peace love and unity